Hi everybody! Welcome back to Star Fox Adventures! Yeah, so it's back to the New Year's. Uh, we're back. We're on, uh, in the Cloud Runner uh, Fortress. And I need to go find those uh, uh, Cloud Runner babies. I think that was the dealio. Uh, trying to get on this fucking thing. And also, my, I'm looking at uh, the windows a bit off center. Uh, there's the uh, electrocution robot. All right, so I got the, uh, uh, wait, that's not the one. Oh yeah, the, the flute. Yeah, I got the, uh, Cloud Runner flute. So do I have to, oh, there's a time limit. Great, because I, I, I just love time limits. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, this is a bit dumb. Oh, man. So this whole thing's scripted, huh? I didn't remember this. And I'm wondering now if I'm also misremembering, because in a previous episode I was talking about, like, uh, going underneath this, um, the fortress. And I'm thinking now, was that a different, uh, whoop, okay. That was a different uh, fortress. I mean, maybe there is. Uh, maybe there is still part. Like I don't. Maybe I don't remember everything. I'm not sure what it is that uh, that is causing damage to them. Or is that like them getting tired? Like they keep flying around. Okay. Can I play it so that I'm not <laughs> obstructed by the fucking box? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I was away during the holidays for a couple of, uh... Ooh, okay, yeah, that's, uh... Oh, man, that's... That is far away. Okay. But, um... Okay, I need to drop down here. Already took some damage. And, uh... Well, the timer does seem fairly generous, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are they... Wait, wait, where are they? Oh, wait. Did I... Did I, um... Did I do the dumb? I'm here the danger... I'm hearing the danger music, but, um... Oh, there... Yeah, 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 I made it, I made it. Okay. Like I've mentioned before, that the uh, the geography of this place, in fact, the geography of a lot of these locations, do you know, uh, uh, can be a bit distracting for me. Ooh, ha! Ah. I knew he was there, but he he's, he kind of snuck up on me still. All right, where did? Uh, there it is. Ooh, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, I can't get too close apparently. Okay, how many of these are there? I think there was... Yeah, that that one. <laughs> Intentionally made me go the furthest possible route. Okay, so what's been going on with me uh, since I, I recorded the, the previous episode? Uh, well, um, first of all, uh, I did finally uh, uh, get and play... I don't remember when I exactly I made the last episode of this, but I certainly had not gotten Return to Monkey Island yet at that point, but uh, I have, and I did finish it. Uh, I'm actually playing it through a second time, and the funny part is I, I, I intentionally picked the hard mode uh, the first time around, and now I'm playing, well, I'm having a second playthrough of the hard mode, but I also want to try out the easy mode, uh, because uh, I'm curious, I'm genuinely curious how it is different uh, from the regular base game, and I've, I've noticed some differences already. Um, the only other Monkey Island game that has that difference between like a hard mode and a uh, easy mode is the there was well actually there were two games previously. Oh, there's a Papam Dot up there. I haven't gotten it. Okay. 
And the, uh, well, the funny part is, yeah, so Monkey Island 2 originally had an easy mode, uh, but it's not in the uh, special edition if you get it, which is something that I find, find honestly a little bit sad. I mean, a lot of people, you know, say that the, you know, the easy mode was like a joke, and, you know, nobody misses it, but, you know, it's an original feature of the game, I'd still like to have it. It's the same way, like, you know, when I was a kid, I, I used to play... I used to always play the normal mode in Curse of Monkey Island, but now, uh, because I know all the puzzle solutions, you know, I do in fact like playing the hard mode or Mega Monkey mode in Curse of Monkey Island. But, you know, uh, it's it's still, sometimes, you know, I might get the inclination that I want to play the cur the, 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 the uh, non-Mega Monkey uh, mode in secret, I mean, the curse of Monkey Island as well, so it kind of makes me sad a little bit that, you know, Monkey Island 2 is lacking that option because it's it's a feature of the original game and, you know, I don't like it when they excise material in like a remaster or a remake of a game. Like, it's okay to do some changes, especially if, if there's like certain things like, a good example I think would be like the Wind Waker remake, ouch, where, uh, okay. Thank you, Fox. As promised, here is your reward. <clears throat> Scales has hidden the spell stone inside the treasure rooms. Find it, Fox, and return it to the Force Point Temple. Our planet is in your hands. Okay, yeah, I think this is the part that I was thinking of. So, the treasure rooms. That's where I'm supposed to be going. So, uh... Oh, ow! So anyway, what did, I, what did I think about... Ooh, okay. Uh, now I just gotta figure out how I get down there. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is what I was thinking about. There's another Bafom dot. Like this part, this part gives me massive... Whoa! Like massive Laputa. You know, oh, flashbacks. <laughs> Jesus, almost killed myself there. That was dumb. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, was that really it? I, I assumed that I, I assumed that I'd be going like I'd, I'd be like climbing a lot more. Or maybe there is another treasure room, and I just I'm just being a big dumb. Okay. Ooh, Sandy. Or is this gold? Uh oh, fireflies. So I, I'm guessing I'm, I'm going into a dark room. I'm honestly like a, I'm honestly a bit. Um, I don't precisely remember. Ooh, no. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I, I goofed. Okay, I should have pressed that switch. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So, um, well, so what did I think of Return of, uh, to Monkey Island? I have to say, I did have some mixed feelings about it and like I said I, I I played it with the hard mode to begin with but I was actually really surprised by how easy the first three parts of the game were um, I did like the fact that you know it had that multi puzzle structure where you could you know try solving multiple puzzles at the same time so you know uh, you were always progressing but really you know uh, the puzzles were really, really easy, in my opinion, in the uh, even in, in the hard mode. It was during part two that I actually started to have a lot of fun, because that part really felt like a, a traditional monkey island again. That's where you get to travel between all the different islands. And that's where the multiple puzzle solution structure, I think, worked even better. Okay, I guess I, I'm, I'm full on the bomb dad, so I can't get any more. Uh, I wasn't too keen on the whole trivia thing. I, re I realized, obviously, that later on that uh, it's, it's completely optional. And, you know, they did put in a lot of... Um, okay, I guess there's a barrel somewhere here. Oh, wait, oh, do I have to actually get a barrel? Oh, I think I do. I think I have to use this to get a barrel down there. Huh. At least I think that's the way to do it. I, I might be getting this completely wrong, but let's check it. Oh, uh, 
So, uh, so part four is where I think the game got really, really good. And, um, you know, part five had some good puzzles as well. Uh, the story was, you know, kind of, um, I can't say I loved it, but, you know, it did get me motivated. I, I will say that much. Oh. What? That's not what I told you to do. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I have to make it through here. Nice, okay. Uh, but the thing with... I think the main thing with... Whoa! With uh, Return to Monkey Island that I didn't really like is that it kind of did that same thing that Broken Sword the Serpent's Curse did, which was it banked a little too heavily, in my opinion, on the older games. That is to say, you know, you, you basically revisit every single place from the first game again. And, ooh, okay. Oh no, another Scales. air bike section. I had forgotten about this. Get the spell stone out of here! Oh god. I'd forgotten about this. Is there a boss fight in this level? Is he gonna do the Skeletor teleport? Yes. <laughs> That's always really funny to me in all He-Man, the information He-Man is like, uh, oh god, now I have to remember how to, how to drive. Okay, luckily it shows. So, I guess I have to just, I don't know if I have to catch up to them or if I actually have to destroy them this time. Yeah, so, uh, so, the thing with, uh, that I didn't like about Return to Monkey Island the most was just the fact that it banked so heavily on, um, on the first game setting. And the thing is, because there's already another, uh, you know, there's already another Monkey Island game that kind of does that a bit. Uh, although I felt it wasn't nearly as egregious as with the, uh, was Escape from Monkey Island, because, and Escape from Monkey Island, uh, and okay, don't, to be fair, Return to Monkey Island, it has original islands. That's why I like part four the best, because you got to see all these new islands. Uh, and I really, really, Bermuda was my favorite. I, I really, really like Bermuda. Uh, not Bermuda, like the actual island, but the uh, Bermuda, you know, the ice, ice level, ice, ice world. <laughs> Sorry, ice island. I guess I, I think I'm gonna fail this the first time. I, I, I'm not. I don't think I did a good job. Yeah. So you know, I, I get that that was sort of the point of the plot because you know it's supposed to be old guy brush. Uh, ah, telling the story to little to his son, and you know, so in the story he's like middle-aged guy brush. But you know, I, I didn't. I, I I kind of just. I hate to say this, that I kind of resented it for being for the game to be for you know the game going that route. But I really did not. You know, it, it was a little bit depressing. Like you were just, you know hammering the point home, like, oh, a guy brush is old and, you know, he wants to live, relive the glory days, which, that felt like the worst, that felt like the worst possible, you know, setup for the story at all. Like, I would have preferred just a completely new original story, uh, and necessarily, like, it, they wouldn't have necessarily needed to have gone back to Monkey Island. They didn't go to Monkey Island in Tales of Monkey Island either, and that game was excellent. Well done, Fox. You now have the second spellstone. And with Thank you, Scottish Dinosaur. My tribe can now start to rebuild their lives. I am forever grateful. Now please get on your ship so I can get on with the road in the free. As soon as you get back to the surface, you need to find the Ocean Force Point Temple. Oh yeah, we're going back to the beach. Nice. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Like this game, this game has, you know, a mood. And I am all for it. The mood isn't giffy, by the way, although not, you know. <laughs> That's 
Oh, that's a word I haven't used in a while. Hey, if you don't know what that is, like, you know. I would tell you to Google it, but, you know, be advised, you might not like what you find. Oh, do I have to fly through the fucking rings again? You did it again, Fox! The fortress is back in control of the Cloud Runners! You must take this spell stone to the Ocean Four Point Temple. Thanks, Pepper. It's, it's not like somebody already did, to t told me this. Have you been anywhere like that yet, Fox? <laughs> so when you get back to the planet, contact me for further details. I think the fact that Pepper. he's just shaking so much is, you know, is a remnant of the fact that, um, apparently in uh, this is a thing I've heard about Lilac Wars which is what I call Star Fox 64. Uh, in, that in Lilac Wars, the models for the um, um, the characters... I mean, they, they are a bit, you know, primitive, because people sometimes forget that Lilac Wars was, was actually a surprisingly early. Technically, almost a... If not a first, and maybe at least a second wave in 64 title. And uh, because of that... Uh, wait, how many rings? Wait, I, I only need one to get back to the show. Okay, okay there's just, so there's just an overabundance of rings. Oh, do a barrel roll! Yeah, so I've, I've heard that they're apparently... Um, that they were going for, like, you know, like a bit of a Thunderbirds thing, that the characters were supposed to be, like, puppets or Muppets. So that's why they're, the top of their head, like, moves um, while they talk. And with this game, they obviously didn't do that anymore. They were, they were more, um, um, they, they were actually uh, trying to make them more move more naturally. I guess, like actual animals would. Uh, but so I, I'm, I'm thinking Pepper, like just shaking and shimmering like that. I think that has to be like a remnant of. Um... Wait, was Tricky in the ship the whole time? I thought he didn't want to go to Cloud Runner City or whatever. Huh. That that I would say that sound that that seems a bit sus to me. But okay. Uh, so we now now we have to go to the uh, the beach. Yeah. So um, what was I even talking about? I, I completely lost my trail of thought. Yeah. So that the uh, so so basically they were supposed to look like uh, puppets, and that's why they move kind of weird in Lila Wars, which. Honestly, I never really thought that when I played that game as a kid, and honestly, it's not something that I horribly bothered by. So anyway, like, my uh, my thoughts on Return to Monkey Island, I mean, it's a fun adventure game, don't get me wrong, and I think some of the puzzles were fun, some of the locations were fun. I just, the mood of the game just wasn't for me, so, uh, yeah, I did not like it as much as Tales. And I was a little surprised that, uh, well, not surprised, I was a little disappointed that they didn't really follow up the story from Tales. It, they did reference it, uh, yeah, but there was actually, I did notice, I did notice some pretty glaring plot inconsistencies, um, and, you know, that was to be expected. Uh, actually, they would have gotten away with it a much easier if that game had been actually said between the different games, but as I later discovered, that wasn't even true either. I made that whole podcast last year talking about it. Turns out I had a lot of more, you know, things that I was unaware of or I was uh, mistaken on. Uh, there's that one village in the uh, on the way over, oh shit, that uh, I still haven't uh, uh, gone to. So, I mean, I, I, we're very close to a full episode already, so I think I'm just gonna go... Uh, I went, I went this way last time, didn't I? Yeah. So, I'm gonna go... We're gonna go to the beach, I'm gonna close it out there. Uh, and then uh, we'll continue um, in the next episode, uh, once we're at the beach. But, uh, so... Like, Return to Monkey Island... Uh, you know, I enjoyed it, it has some nifty things. Uh, but it, it definitely was not one of my... I, I definitely did not, you know, jump into my top three for the series or anything like that. Like, um, like uh, I'm gonna be like bluntly honest. I think I prefer uh, Escape from Monkey Island over it as well, uh, just because Escape from Monkey Island had its like original uh, 
characters and uh, story and whatever. That was the other thing. Like some of the original characters, the new ones that they introduced were actually pretty good. I, I really like Putra, the, the chef, <laughs> and um, uh, and some of the guys on like Bermuda I did like, and um, and then with the guy who was trying to get away from Stan, that was pretty cool. Um, but um, the new bad guys were kind of. Honestly, kind of whatever. Like, ooh, I, 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 I hear danger music. Is there a cutscene, perchance? It, it definitely sounds like there's an event that's gonna happen when we, when we enter the beach. So, uh, okay, I wanna, I wanna first check this out. Or is it just generally here because now the, because the, because the beach is now overrun by those, uh, by the shark claws? I have a feel, I have a nasty feeling it is. Uh, oh, it's was money. I really would have preferred, uh, you know, an egg. But you know what? Uh, we'll end it for this episode, and when we come back, more Star Fox adventures.